you know, I just use whatever I come across, you know, I'm saying fine, you know, it's different, it's new again, see what's new here, and then, and then my whole world got turned upside down when Ventoy came along, mm. and I could have like 12 I've heard good things I, about Ventoy, still... I've not actually huh? used it, people have asked me to do a video on it for god knows how long now. Well, I did a video on it. Uh, when did it come out? Oh, it's been, I don't remember when it came out. Initially it's it's 2020, been, oh, oh really? it actually is fairly new. Huh. Yeah. Um... It's the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, give you a just a brief explanation of Ventoy for anyone who hasn't heard about it. So Ventoy is a is a uh, application that you download. It's in the repositories or it's in the AUR and also in Pac-Man if you're on Arch. But you can download it. And what it does is it turns a USB drive, like you take a 60 gig USB drive, and it makes it into an actual bootable ISO drive where you can literally... Uh, just drag and drop ISOs as many as you want that'll fill up that hard drive. Mm -hmm. And when you boot into it in your into your grub, it'll you can pick the, the the USB drive and then it'll give you a GUI in there where you can select which ISO you want to boot into. Mm -hmm. So it's literally a distro hopper's dream, or uh, a computer repairman's dream, mm. or you know software software guy's dream. Because you can put an you could and it's not specific to Linux only. It's actually you can put Windows on there, anything that's an ISO on there, an IMG. I think you even you can use uh, image files too. Hmm. I, I should yeah, get around to messing with uh, Vento at some point. Um, it's straight up. It's straight up badass. <laughs> it does look really cool. Like for me though, like I, it's not something that I would use in like my my personal usage. I'm not much of a distro hopper. I'm I use Arch, and Arch does what I need to do. Um, yeah. But I can see why if you like... Actually, when you, you do your distro reviews, do you do them on hardware or in a VM? So I do them in hardware and I do do them in VM. Okay. It depends on... So it, it depends on, you know, like oh, oftentimes I'll talk to some of the developers and they'll tell me, you know, I'd rather it be done on hardware or whatever. Uh, but if it's one of the common big big ones you yeah. know that i'm doing i'll do it usually in a vm yeah yeah one, one two fedora already, you know, that stuff's gonna be fine yeah i, I do v i do in a vm because pretty much so somebody's already thrown it on a box they kind of know yeah, i'm just yeah. showing the highlights of what's changed but when it's something that's an independent or something like that what i'll do is i have a i have a t40 lenovo laptop <laughs> that i'll throw it on mm-hmm <laughs> You know, and then what I'll do is, is I'll port that into my video capture card mm -hmm. and then and I'll capture it that way. Ah, and yep. it's actually done on hardware. Yep, yep, yep. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's the, to me, it's a fair way of doing it, you know, giving a good shake on hardware. Mm -hmm. What are you using? Nah, to get... you got... mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, what are you using to get the um, the video stream? A mirror box capture card. Oh, okay. 4K. Mirror box. I've heard of that one. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Mirror box capture. Oh, oh, oh. This little bad boy. Uh, this little bad boy right here. Yeah, I've not used... I have heard of this one. Yeah, I yeah, just... It's a, yeah, it's a 4K capture card. Huh. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, it's got uh, HDMI input and USB 3 input, and mm -hmm. then it's got 4K out, man. Hmm. It's pretty sweet little box. I think it cost me... Oops, I hit my mic. I think it cost me a whopping total of like eighty bucks, ninety bucks. <laughs> yeah, that that'd be a normal for us so, right now. It's uh, if anyone wants one, it is um forty percent off, so you can get it for fifty dollars. Oh, see, look at that! You're already getting a deal. <laughs> wow, if this you got, is a, if you do, this is an old ad. It shows Xbox three hundred and sixty game capture. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that's old. You know, if that's anything like Amazon that you were looking at, yeah, it was then, Amazon. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably old things. But yeah, no, it works flawlessly. I actually have two of them. Mm. Because sometimes a gamer tube will come over right. and we'll do live stuff or whatever. And then he'll come over and like he'll use one and I'll use another one, you know, ah, for his, yep, yep. Uh, to capture some of his screen content or mm -hmm. his, his gameplay. Yeah, no, it's it. That's what I, I do to, to get the actual on hardware. Right, right, right. Because I'm not going to lie to you, man. I am not trying. I do have a terabyte uh nvme mm -hmm. and i'm not partitioning it i'm not doing all that crap just because i also have my steam library on here mm. i need that space so i'm not wiping i'm not wiping and re, re doing no, that's hard totally drive fair. every time 
screw that. I'm sorry. You know, not when I can get it to work that way and still give you a, a decent review. Mm. 